Okay, I think we better go. Hello. Welcome to Rwanda, where everybody speaks softly and politely and then tries to murder you in the street with their RAV4. 2001 Toyota RAV4 in Rwanda, Africa. Everybody has a RAV4 in this country. Why? Well, there's a few reasons. There's good ground clearance. They're relatively cheap. It's very versatile. Decent fuel economy. But most importantly, you can beat them into the ground and they'll just keep on taking it. Since everyone in this country has a RAV4, parts are abundant and every mechanic knows how to fix it. Remember that Top Gear Toyota Hilux special? Or maybe it's just a regular episode where they put a Toyota Hilux on top of a building, they demolish the building, and with just a few simple tools, the mechanic was able to get it up and running again. This is that truck's little brother. The RAV4 is more like a lifted hatchback than a small SUV, because it kind of behaves more like a car on normal roads, but it is a lot like a tiny little Jeep when you drive it off-road. It also handles hills pretty well considering it only has about 140 horsepower from its little four-cylinder. Its small size is good for parking and weaving through traffic, which is total anarchy in this country. The suggestion is that you stay on the right, but really people just go where they want. But the turning circle isn't very good in this car, so that makes parking a little bit more challenging on the other hand. A few more facts about this car. It's a two-liter four-cylinder engine. It gets about mm, 25 miles per gallon. Has a 14.7 gallon fuel tank. It has a towing capacity of about 1,500 pounds. In the US, this car would probably go for around $3,000. But because it's so difficult to import things into Rwanda, a 2001 RAV4 in this condition is gonna set you back close to $10,000. So, some cons about this car. It's pretty slow, doesn't have a lot of torque, you rarely get out of third gear and spend most of your time in first and second. This is also due to the fact that there's hills everywhere and you can't go farther than 100 meters without having to go around a sharp turn. Also, traffic is crazy. Rwanda is an extremely densely populated country, so there's people everywhere. There's pedestrians on both sides of the road, wherever you go, even if you go out into the country, and there's motorcycles and bikes and other RAV4s and buses and trucks, and so you're constantly having to shift between first, second, and neutral just to sort of get around town. The gearbox is pretty vague. You just kind of point the shifter in the general direction of the gear you want and you hope it's right. The sound system is pretty awful. It's some kind of aftermarket thing though, so... And the speakers are busted, there's no bass, it cuts out at treble, and... It's just pretty useless. Um, but that doesn't really matter so much because you're going to want to roll down those windows because the AC isn't very strong and it rarely gets below 70 degrees here. So, you're going to want to open the windows, which means there's a ton of road noise and wind noise and traffic noise and just bustling life noise. So, using the radio isn't that important anyways. The windshield on this particular RAV4 has gotten a sandpaper treatment, much like a lot of other vehicles in this country. There's so much dust in the air that it gathers pretty quickly all over the car. And what happens is, if you use the windshield wipers when there's still dust on them, it just scrapes and grinds into the windshield. So, there's a lot of windshields, including this one, that have sort of a foggy look to them, and that's just because they've been scratched up so much from uh, the windshield wipers with the sand kind of grinding against the glass. The interior is functional, 
but quite spartan. For some reason, the driver's seat has a different kind of faux leather than the passenger seat, um, but it's not really a big deal because you really can't drive more than two hours in this country unless there's really hard traffic uh, just because it's so small. The car isn't particularly interesting since it's so common unless you really like very common cars and it's literally one of millions of cars. I'd say about 50% of the cars you see in this country are some form of Toyota RAV4. When you're driving at a quicker pace, it understeers slightly, but that makes sense since it's an all-wheel drive car and it's really not built to handle. It's really built more for everyday practical use with the ability to go off-road when you need to. Overall, this car is very functional. It's quite utilitarian, but when it comes down to it, this car is just a tool. It can really only be enjoyed off-road and it makes sense that they're so common because they're so durable and they're so easy to fix and there's parts everywhere and it meets almost all the needs for the general populace here. So overall, the RAV4 is a great car if you're living in Central Africa and you really can't go wrong with it, which is good because it's probably the only car you're going to be able to find. Thanks for watching. See you next time. My love's the type of thing that you have to earn and when you earn it, you won't need it. Oh, my love's the type of thing that you have to earn and when you earn it, you won't need it. I'm not gonna give you love just cause I know that you want me to. Want love, and the love has got to come from you. Isaac, wave.